Hi friends, welcome to this channel where I share with you about high vibe life and in this particular video I will be unboxing an angel tarot oracle card deck. There are very few angel tarot oracle card decks and uh, before I open up this card deck for you, share its energy, vibration, beauty, magic with you, let me share a little bit about what is all this about? Angel Oracle card decks are the card decks which are designed by people based on the specific theme they get the awareness of and there are so many Angel Oracle card decks on so many different themes actually mostly around angels and then there are specific people there are certain people who have created card decks which specializes into a specific thing like for example there can be a card deck on healing there can be a card deck on spirit guides they can be card deck on unicorns they can be card deck on fairies and gods goddesses like there are so many of them every tarot card deck you will find 78 cards you will find major arcanas and minor arcanas the element around the card would be similar there are you know they're going to be four suits and all that while on the contrary the angel oracle card decks may have 44 cards may have 54 cards may have 68 cards completely differs from artist to artist or a psychic to psychic who is designing them okay in the angel oracle card decks there are all positive cards because they're all guidance card while tarot cards often also used for prediction they are used also for getting very deeper insight into life lessons and all that and some of the cards can also have heavy awareness you know like they can be giving warning signs or you know things like that okay so with that now i'm sure you have some idea about the what are the angel oracle card decks what are tarot card deck and now with something like this this is by red league valentine you know what artists like red league does is they bring together the best of both the worlds and they create a deck like this so uh, i am unboxing uh red league valentine's uh, angel oracle card deck for the first time this is my first experience of it yet there are more card decks that he has designed he is kind of he's somebody who specializes in this i also know this artist because he was once working with doreen virtue and he had created in the car past some decks in collaboration with doreen virtue especially the angel answer card deck was earlier both of them together created it and then when Doreen stopped doing this work uh, the angel answer card deck was uh, you know Hay House have started printing them purely on Radley Valentine's name okay now let's dive straight into unboxing this one okay there we go and yay Are you ready to dive into the magic of angel tarot card decks? There we go. Uh, oh, wow. So I was thinking it's going to be having a very thick book, but this does not. So yeah, some explanation about the card deck and then begins the meanings of the card. Dudge. So see, this one has a picture and the description, okay? Picture, description, additional meaning of the card. All right. This is the back of the box, if you can see. It's beautiful, you know, I like this idea where the, card, the artist shows some of the cards for people to have the feel of it. And then the description. So this is what it is, ISBN number. And let's keep this aside. okay there we go okay it's around the blue theme we can see the angel with wands in both the hands nice the king of earth generous professional responsible practical the keywords are given and also gives the some explanation a successful time confidently accept opportunities you are offered the midas touch oh midas touch i like it 
nice okay this one says the queen of earth thoughtful creative warm sensible okay night page oh wow this is beautiful the pentacles in tarot actually is the element of earth you know it's like a representation of the element of earth and it's so beautiful how he's just straight away talking about if it is the king of earth if it is the king of queen uh, queen of earth if it is the uh, page of earth knight of earth nice ten of earth okay so th so now we are aware that he is talking about the eight yeah the nine of earth which is the nine of pentacles the nine of the eight of earth here there's somebody who's studying in the traditional tarot card deck we have eight of pentacles as somebody who's working you yeah. know and then we have seven of earth seeds well planted a uh, temporary pause in action exactly yeah so seven of pentacles is somebody who's waiting for the fruits to ripe <laughs> yes see we have the six of pentacles here And it's just beautiful how there is a butterfly element in every card and then a lot of nature element in every card beautiful and this um, this is nice okay then we have the five of earth the five of pentacles how does he show it okay so there are these you know the five coins you can see here you know the six of pentacles is actually usually about the balance of karma that's why they show the balance the scale here nice okay in the traditional tarot card deck they show five of pentacles as uh, you know how things would be when there is lack of money the person has disease disability they do they are not even looking what they have things like that but this one is actually not that straight but it's not very clear as well it's it's also giving indirectly giving some sign that there is money but you're not looking at it because things are hazy for you you know so yeah everyone has their own way of communicating the same message so the four is about you're not looking where the money is okay then we have the three Then we have the two, the ace of earth, beginning of the idea, inflow of the money, king of air. Yeah, so he's used the elements straight away here. And it's so beautiful, you know, I'm amazing. Another important part here is that how the horse, you know, horse is also symbolic to the element of air. Okay. And he is so beautifully just brought that in. You know, there are so many literally unicorns in this picture. So he's used the butterflies and the fairies in the earth part and then he's using the unicorns and the horse in the air part which is nice even here if you see the queen of air has inside the ball she's looking at the unicorn and then we have the knight knight is anyways on the horse then we have the page See, the element of unicorn is there in every air card. And it's also that sword, yeah? Lots of unicorns, eight unicorns coming your way. Seven unicorns. Okay. 
six of air it's so amazing you know like i'm actually enjoying doing this i'm so loving doing this because you know every time i see a card at the back of my mind i also get the picture of the traditional card deck because i'm so used to doing reading from the traditional card deck and this is actually helping me you know i'm in my mind i'm going oh wow this is so beautiful how the artist have created uh you know getting inspiration from that i mean i can see that there's an inspiration with addition to what artist would have liked you know so so bringing in the element of the horse being the air element and not making sword only significant to killing or problems or you know overthinking uh bringing making it like the unicorn's horn making it like a magic yeah so beautiful the boat is so beautiful in the six of uh, swords or air because um, that's the traditional card also shows that it's a time to move on from one place to another place okay the five of air in the traditional five of swords you know it actually talks about the people when they're together it may look like they're arguing or fighting but they're just together they are like few people with different points of view together yeah four of air time to rest and take a vacation yeah and then is three take time to heal two of air being unable and unwilling to make a decision yes that's what the two of swords talk about Yes, ace of air. Brilliant new idea and inspiration seeing the truth of situation. I am already in love of love with these cards. King of water. Aha. Uh -huh. You know water, cup, emotion, love, relationship. Yes. So that's beautifully depicted. I was expecting dolphin but this more looks more like a genie coming out of water. Yes, let's, let's see what but there's a dolphin for sure so dolphin is definitely the sign there and there's a dolphin in there as well in the queen of water okay and in the knight of water so the element is dolphin here page of water okay so if you look at 10 of cups remember there are these mermaids and then there are where is the dolphin here there are mermaids here for sure dolphin i found one <laughs> okay so now we have nine of cups these cups see these cups are full of wealth so we have eight of cups no wealth in the cups this one a desire to move on a search for something more meaningful spiritual and emotional growth seven of water a complex decision a need to do research stop procrastinating something is mysterious the cups are not even empty not even full there's something above them what is it going to be need to do the research then is the six of water memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children wow romanticizing the past this is beautiful the way he's brought together i'm liking it already i'm inspired to create my own soon for sure five of water what will it take angels nice and then is this the four of water Three, two. Here they are, and one. Yeah, King of Fire. Remember the wands. For me, when I look at fire, the element of the or the elemental of the nature would be salamander. and they actually show salamanders in the traditional uh, card deck and here let's see the fire element is here for sure the queen of fire okay 
Yes, we see the wand. The Knight of Fire. In the traditional one, the... Oh, are they showing the crocodile here? Is it? No. The dragon. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. They're showing the dragon. Nice. Okay, the dragon, the fire element. Page. Ten wands inside the this bowl of fire. Nine of fire. Hmm. They, are, they look like arrows, more like the wands. But they are wands. Eight of wands. Seven of wands. Six of fire. Five of fire. Four of fire. Three of fire. Okay. Two of fire. Ace. Okay. Let me put it this way now. Right. Now comes the major arcana, which is the first one is the dreamer, the fool card. It's nice here, you know, you see the, the, the faithful animal, you see the elements of the nature contributing, the angels whispering. The dreamer is moving ahead. The magician, it's like a Merlin. And then we have the high priestess. Nice. The Empress. Looks like the Empress of the Woods, actually. The Emperor. Mm. Unity. Okay. It says Sandalfon. The Lover. The Chariot. Justice. Hermit. The wheel. See how it has all the elements. Then we have the strength card. Taming the tiger here and not the lion. Awakening. Now, you know the upside down thing. Release, end of phase one, balance, yeah, the temperance card. One foot in the water, one foot on the crown, beautifully balanced, mixing the elixir in the cups, the sun at the back, heart chakra open, temperance, beautiful card inspired by the temperance card of the tarot this is the balance card life experience the tower is it the stars the star card the moon card okay so there's a dog and the wolf that sign is there there is probably a lion image at the back hmm Two passages to go, decision making, all those signs are there. The crab isn't here. Okay, so important psychic insights in when events behind the scene release fear and that hold you back. That's the message. The sun card. The sunflowers are there. And then we have the world card. And we have, so it is actually this one first. We have the renewal card. Okay. And we have the world card. I like it. It's nice to see, 
you know it's like a remix version of a song of an old song <laughs> that's the way i can look at it you know like for me going through these cards is actually like listening to a remix of a famous old song or one of my favorite old song and seeing looking at it from the space of yeah you know the person has done a good job but i like the old element more of old elements and also from the space hey if i would do do it i would do something differently which is another thing about it so yes let's now come to a part where we do the reading yes because this is tarot and also i think because tarot has a lot of card we can do the circle the semicircle so i'm going to be picking three cards you're going to choose any one of them there are very high chances that you may resonate to more than one which is perfectly all right however uh one is something that will pop up for you so let's see what does these angel tarot cards have to say to you or rather i would say what are your angels wanting to say to you through these cards okay so i'm going to pick three cards one from here one from here okay and one from here okay so they are here in front of you this is one if you pulled to this one make a note in your notebook write one there this is two so if you pulled to this one make a note in your notebook write two over there and this is three if you pulled to three make a note in your notebook write three over there after that write it in the comments below so that i would know which one of these cards people are pulled more to one two or three first write it in the comments and then i'll tell you <laughs> what are your cards telling you okay so are you somebody who's pulled to card number 1 and yeah you may be thinking hey shri we don't know what is inside the card so how are we pulled that's exactly what it is without even knowing what's inside when you're pulled to something that's your intuition that's something greater than your logic talking to you okay so 1 2 3 which one are you pulled to let's find out if you're pulled to the first one ta da wow what are my favorite cards the strength card so the strength card is also a bit of the rainbow at the back which i really love so the strength card is telling you that this is the time in your life where you require more strength you already have it you got to look within it and you would discover that you have the power to tame the lion or to tame the tiger in this case okay you already have the strength to deal with anything in your life this one says great inner strength release harsh judgment forgiveness and compassion and you know one of the beauty of this particular card is that it says that what if what you have decided as strength is not strength you know like we we think strength is about fighting we think we think strength is about fighting we think strength is about physical fitness but what if strength is also about the inner strength you know it's about being maintaining your calmness being uh you know calm in the middle of chaos and all of that stuff okay so the strength card let's see if you're somebody who's pulled to card number 2 here we go ace of water new relationship aha uh -huh. doesn't have to be romantic one but something new someone new is coming up falling in love or resurgence of a relationship spiritual growth and enhanced intuition or a new home yeah so the ace of water or the ace of cup is about aces are about something new and when you get this card it's about there is definitely something positively new coming your way which will fill your heart with love and joy okay and let me know in the comments below if that makes sense to you if you resonate with any one of these cards okay and now in the four of air the time to rest and take the vacation allow more time before making a decision meditation may provide an answer 
okay so this actually rem is reminding me of the four of swords card because uh, it it you know like i can see the picture of it there's a guy who is lying down there are three swords hanging on the head and there is one underneath which actually shows that it's time for rest you may be just looking at the worry but you're not seeing that you inside or you know there's a hidden power already that you do have to fight the situation and there is you know somewhere at the back there is those glass uh, paintings that uh, you know we used to have in the old churches so there's that kind of a painting which is also a secret message that says that the that you need to go within to and have faith and trust the god the universe the superpower the source for the solution and you will find one yeah now that was the old card remember i'm keep i keep going back to the old song <laughs> let me just look into the new song and see what this one is saying you know so oh wow 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 what an amazing awareness guys so you know this card actually physically there are three uh, horses that i can see rather the unicorns that i can see and then there is this one where uh, you know like if you can see here so this is a ha brown horse but you can see that there's a shadow and this one is also a horse you know so maybe it's like a horse behind this one or it is the same horse's shadow self and such a beautiful secret message hidden inside this card that talks to you about hey you know what sometimes uh, there are some aspects of our own personality that we judge as wrong and bad and those very aspects are the ones that are our power you know so we hide them because we think that's wrong like for example i grew up as a person who've been told that i'm supposed to be nice with everybody you know so i was like this nicest person around and there were times and i would not you know uh, have my boundaries with people where people will take me for granted and I would still be nice to them and then when I started working on myself I stopped being that nice sometimes you know and initially I didn't like it but I realized that it's okay I don't have to be nice all the time there are times I need to be blunt with people there are times I need to even be angry at people or to behave in very firm way with people to get the work done now it's not that I'm bad it's just that at that moment of time I require or I used that aspect of my personality that I once upon a time used to judge as the bad aspect okay so it's such a beautiful message you know and that's the beauty of these cards because you know when you look into the cards the awareness just pops up yeah so so such a beautiful card you know such a beautiful message that if the, you are the one that resonate if you resonate with this card some shadow work requires to be done you know which is more of the work to be done on your inner self to go within and see what are the parts of you that you or aspects of your personality that you are judging as wrong and you need to start telling yourself what if i'm not wrong what if this aspect of mine or even this behavior of mine or whatever memory of the past you have what if even that wasn't wrong exactly yeah so those are the three messages let me know in the comments below which one did you resonate with which one did you like the most and uh, which one do you think hey shri that was message for me today yeah so with that if you liked this video please click the like button and uh, do let me know if uh, there are more card decks you would like me to unbox if there are more topics you would like me to make videos on i'm here for you sharing my knowledge my intuition my awareness please subscribe the channel so that you get my upcoming videos the notification for them and you don't miss any one of them thank you so much for your time for being here with me and hope to see you soon with another video or maybe in person someday bye bye